Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, Director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you a professional tip. With the holidays upon us, we're all delivering flowers all over the world. It's such a busy time, and delivering provides challenges. But thanks to our friends at Chrysler, I have a special, special product to share with you that makes delivery easy. Chrysler's transporter is easy to work with. It's lightweight, comes in a number of different sizes, and it will adapt to so many different vessels. You can take a glass vase, set that down in, or maybe even a tall ceramic. Just set it in. It has different size holes. It will even hold something as small as a bud vase. Then, if you've got a cube, a square shape, it will fit as well. and tall dramatic arrangements, oh so easy to deliver. They'll just set right in. With the security of the transporter, you won't have broken stems, cracked vases, spilled water. Plus, you won't waste time and precious resources on unnecessary paper and boxes. It is such a fabulous system. But now, let's take a moment, and I want to share with you how I created this gorgeous arrangement. To create the design, I started with a tall vase. It's filled with wet floral foam, pre-soaked with flower food. Then I picked some of my favorite flowers, some heliconia, anthurium, carnations and roses, and then fabulous foliages, monstera, croton, and then manipulated flax. This is just a standard flax leaf that's been rolled around upon itself to give it a great ornamentation. Now, if you like interesting materials like this as much as I do, you'll want to attend the TPIE show this January in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Tropical Plant Industry Exposition features all these fabulous things. One of my new favorites are these little baby bananas. They tuck down in the arrangement, and they truly are little baby bananas that are attached to a stick so that you can set them in your designs. I start the design with my lines. The heliconia is so dramatic. Placing it in to get a nice tall vertical, giving it a cut, and starting in the back of the vessel, and then repeating the lines, bringing more of the heliconia. And then the monstera down at the bottom. Either side, using it for a strong horizontal movement with the heliconia. When you insert your flax, you'll notice that the stems are very, very fat. and It would just chew your foam up. So you want to do a very long slant and then repeat that with a long slant so that you get an arrowhead. That way it takes up less space in the foam. Then you can place it, creating that accent. The croton it's got a lot thinner stem. You can see it's just very small, so instead I look at it, determine which leaves fit the movement that I want, pulling them down, then giving it a cut and placing it in, adding another horizontal line. To create an accent and visually anchor the design, it's where we'll use the anthurium. Two of them right at the base, one coming out slightly, and then the other tucked right over the top to balance out and draw the eye into the center of the arrangement. To finish, use your roses and your carnations to base at the foam, covering your mechanics, and brighten the bottom of the arrangement. Doesn't take very many, just a bit, making sure you pull it all the way around to the back to cover, and then tucking low underneath the anthurium to completely conceal the foam. For delivering flowers, there's really nothing better than the transporter from our friends at Chrysler. You can see it just sets right down in. Now for additional inspiration and more wonderful products from Chrysler, check out our website, flowerschool.com. If you've got questions or comments, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone at 
223-8089. And of course, you can always reach me through my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.